All right, here we go. Part two of the potato, true potato seed experiment. It's extraction day. Woohoo! Get excited. All right, so here we have our, here we have Timmy. Timmy, tons of friends. And he's ready to go. He's actually stayed firmer than like almost all of them. But um, yeah, here we go. I think I've got this set up. I just threw my gray light sweater over top of there so that hopefully we can see what's what's going on. I'll tell you what we'll do. Yeah, we'll do this. Try and do this anyway. All right. And for those of you that think that Timmy's meeting his end, he is not is not. This is more of the caterpillar turning into the butterfly type of thing. His job here is not done. Not until those seeds get growing and then those potatoes get growing. So he has a lot of evolution. This is, uh, you know, going from like a toddler, you know, into just a kid, you know, that's not that much of a pain in the butt anymore. Like This is transformative. This is going to be gold. All right, where are we putting this? All right, hopefully we can see that. little seeds there. So, I don't know. I may have to, uh, these, I, the one, the one I tore apart before, the seeds just seem to have come out quite, uh, quite, quite easily. Wow, there's a few of them in there. There's a few of them. I have enough of these little berries to certainly last this winter. And enough to share. I know I should have been on this earlier, as my partner in potato crime, Alex, has been very nice to not, you know, remind me about every other day. But yes, I, this should have been done quite, quite some time ago. But I have quite a few of these, and like I say, I will get these all out of a bunch of them that I have. And we will probably, they have little gel sacks around the actual seed. Let's see if I can, goodness, those are tiny. Hokey smudge. I even have my glasses on. Wow. Um, now, I did let these sit for quite, quite some time. So part of me is curious if there still is that gel sack on there. But I kind of think there is. So I, I'll just kind of ferment them in here for whatever, maybe a day, day or two. It'll turn a little scummy on top. I can always, uh, I can always uh, just scoop that out with a spoon, and you know, away we go. Try not to miss too many of these. I know it'll drive, drive poor little Barry No friends nuts, right? Barry No mates rather. All right, I think we're doing not too bad there. And again, I mean, it, if you haven't watched, um, if you haven't watched Alex's, you know, take on this, it's obviously she's covering the scientific side of things, and it is so cool how these have the way the chromosomes are going to match up from the mother and the father. It's gonna be different. Like, so that is so neat that I mean, almost every one of those, actually all of those, I would imagine, are gonna be completely their own variety of spud because I had 13 different varieties growing here so pretty tough for me to know which crossed with what I know which mother plants these came off of and it was mainly the uh, the Russian blues and the all reds which already super cool looking spud so um, if you haven't watched you know Alex's please go over there and check it out because it gives you such an awesome breakdown, and I'm super pumped about this. Um, one other thing, and I did talk to Alex about it, I want to give uh, a quick nod of recognition. I know I brought up Terry King, who's done um, done TPS in the past. Uh, e, the Empty Nester, uh, has also got a ton of really good videos on this. And, and, you know, watching other people's videos is what got Alex and I so interested and excited about it. But... One person that I forgot to bring up, which I feel bad about because I've reached out to her um, via like private message on YouTube 
she's gotten back to me, you know, like right away with a huge detailed response and just, I was just super willing to share her knowledge. And she is, as far as I'm concerned, like a very experienced gardener. Her name is Torp Tomatin. Oh, I don't speak Swedish, so I do, I'm probably putting the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. But uh, Torp, Torp is awesome, and she has a channel, and she does a ton of uh, true potato seeds and growing them up. And she, you you almost got to watch it. Like she she like breeds her own peppers, and she has all these native varieties. It's just, and she deals with the exact same weather that I deal with, which. I, let me tell you, like, I mean, she's already, I think it was maybe a month ago, she started all her eggplants. A month ago, she started them. Because, again, she has the same short summer that I have. So, I just want to say thank you to Torp, because you rock, and I chatted with Alex about it, and you just, you, you rock. So, thanks very much. I'm going to uh, get a bunch of uh, Tim's friends, and we're going to get them hacked up and put into here, and... Uh, Whatever. We'll check back. We'll see. We'll see what we have. There we go. That's plenty for me. That's plenty. I'm, I'm going to send some to a couple of friends over here in Canada. I'm going to keep whatever, 10, 15, 20 of them. I'm going to probably send the rest over to Alex so she can have a play around with some Canadian spuds and we'll see how it goes. But I, I know the water's a little bit murky. But I think you can see the sheer amount there. And I was not overly fastidious about getting every single one. But, anywho, this is going to be awesome. So I'm going to leave this for a couple of days. Um, I'll take another quick little bit, I guess, when I scoop the scum off the top and rinse them out. But basically, I'll put that into an incredibly uh, thin strainer. The very first time I did this, I just used like sort of a... You know what I would think is a, is a pretty fine strainer. Yeah, out of the entire thing, I think I was able to keep five seeds. The rest of them went right through. They are that small. So uh, maybe like a coffee filter type thing. I'll strain all that stuff out. I'll put them on a little parchment paper. We'll dry them out, and I. All right. Here are the TPS. And they are in there. They are in there. A few of them anyway. That has got to be good. We're rinsing these off right now. Those are incredibly tiny. I am going to use, I found this little strainer. I'm not even sure what it's from. Those look like they might do the trick. I don't know, I think I'm probably gonna put a bowl underneath them just to be sure that I'm not losing them all. But anyway, I'm gonna get these strained off real quick. We'll be right back. Okay. I don't know nothing from nothing, which most of you guys know. Um, but this seemed to be like a half decent way right here. <laughs> don't lose them all now, man. Just gently fill that up with water. It'll swirl around. I wonder where you can see the seeds the best. Uh, and then pour off the extra and any of the little floaties and stuff well whatever that wasn't meant to be I've done this numerous times but it's beginning to look like we have an awful lot of seeds there so I'm gonna rinse this off one or two more times and we will throw it on some parchment paper and get them dried up so they can go in the mail Woohoo! all right here we go True potato seeds are out and dry. I don't know if this is picking it up, but they definitely seem like there are some different colors in there. There's some that are much, much darker, some that are quite a bit lighter. And this was the first batch that I did, and they are ridiculously lighter. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to keep, I don't know. Twenty or so of them for myself. Keep twenty or so for another buddy, and then send the rest of these to uh, to Alex. 